Welcome back to Castle Haldor. Another episode on Forklift TV. I'm going to be going over the build a little bit. Uh, same build, same feet, same power, same everything. I'm not going to indulge in that too much. Um, like I said, it is exactly the same. What we're doing is upgrading some items. Um, doing the, the new weapons I got. They just dropped the guild alliances in the game, so you might want to check that out if you're in a guild. We're obviously just putting arts together, um, figuring it out, seeing what's going on. Well, let's jump right into it here with the dust grade helm. Um, now we're running these for the set bonuses and just basically they're the best armor you can get in the game right now. Um, there's identical armor. Uh, the Drowcraft is identical in stats, uh, has different set bonuses. What we're going for is the this is basically helping you out when you're in a group, uh, when you're in a party, you're getting bonuses, your team's getting bonuses, and you're getting a 4,000 movement inside the guild stronghold, which if you're doing dragon flights or just a lot of guild farming, it's very helpful. Um, we wear three pieces of the set. There's four. We don't have the arms on. Uh, they actually just changed it so you could go to the tr uh, trade bar vendor and get your equipment from there. So now you don't have to get the boots out of a a pack or have to buy them off the market or hope you get a drop um, you can just straight away go buy them um, so you're gonna buy three of those and then on your fourth piece your arms and or your feet whichever you choose um, basically you just want three dusk pieces no matter what they are and then get the th you know your fourth item just go get a drill craft or whatever you choose um, that's equal I like the 10% damage resistance you get for one piece of drill craft armor so that's why I go with that against demon types i did get the twisted weapons i was working on them in my last video i hadn't got them yet uh they give you a huge power bonus we all know how good they were um i still completely back uh you know the drown set 100 percent if you haven't been able to get the twisted set the drown set is best basically your best bet your best bet is going to be your drowned weapon set before you can get your twisted because you get such a big uh, bonus in healing now once you get your twisted set you get huge power bonuses when you're attacking and once you start getting attacked yourself you start getting huge defense bonuses and they kind of trade back and forth you have 24 stacks and they trade back and forth we'll show you a little bit later in the build um, i'll actually demonstrate it now for our neck waste and artifacts set, our utility set we go with the lost mouse set a lot of people hate this set now for some reason just because there's you know a slightly better set um i still personally like this and until you get you know six million astral diamonds uh, to be able to get the artifact and everything unless you get it in a drop this is going to be what you're going to go with this one's you're looking at about six hundred thousand for the whole set um Basically, the Lost Mouth Horn of Blasting is the most expensive for 500,000. Now, your artifacts, just, you know, you want to go with, with good armor pen, things of the sort. Oh, here's our set bonus for our uh, clothing. Uh, it's every crit you heal your allies within a certain range, a thousand. It's either in a range or, or your party, I'm not sure. Um, with your rings, the dark... Um, rings uh, got the ring of rising precision you get out of the prophecy of madness you want to try to get a plus four or a plus five um the plus five you definitely you know is better it's orange higher item level and you get two offensive slots now when you get a rising power is my preferred i have a ring of brutality plus four that lasts for eight seconds out of every 30 so me personally, I I'm going to work towards getting the rising power. You can also make your own rings. Um, I have one on a companion. I'll show you here in a second um, that you can put there in place if you don't like the underdark set. Um, power and crit is what we're stacking to. And I'll give you a chance to check out all my enchantments here. Um, I go with the dragon hordes for two utilities. Get a four percent, kind of like a you know wanderer's fortune. That you can get on a bonus. Um, I just stacked. 4% um, of a chance of dropping a refining stone every time I kill an enemy and it, it adds up I definitely get them um, and then I'm able to stack movement on the rest of my utility slots now I could tell you use all Azores and stack your crit for offensive you know but basically 
you want to tune your character with your enchantments. So if you need some more armor pen, you want to stack some reds. If you need some more crit, you want to stack blues. Um, basically, your power is going to stack from your items themselves. I don't have any enchantments uh, stacking my power. I even had to switch out my brutal enchantments for savage enchantments because stack armor pen and crit instead of crit and power. Um, got a lot of darks in. Get my um, armor pen up to just, you want it at 60% resistance ignored, which is roughly 5,500 um, armor pen stacked. And that's like your top dungeon resistance ignore there's some something in the game that they do where it doesn't really benefit you to be anything above that like i said in my last video i don't get into all the math i'm not I'm, i don't know too much about it i just know that enough people have done the math and so i follow it and it works um basically i you know i like to have different i have a really light set armor and then i put on a darker set clothing just so if i want to change it up it's just one button to push um not really going to jump into my powers i'll link my last video down below and if you want to check out the powers you can go ahead and i'll show the feats at the end um i know those are the most important but like i said this is a follow-up video um to show some of the higher level stuff uh with the two com videos combined you'll have no problem making a great weapon fighter that dps is you know, higher than most when i say out dps is other builds i'm talking you know higher item level builds but they just don't build them properly um like right here when you're rolling your stats you want to try to get like a 10 10 8 on your intelligence wisdom and charisma um try to roll your lower stats to the lowest they can go and then that will leave your purple and blues as high as they can go um follow my stat chart right there and you'll be good now i have stacks if you look in my corner you got the little lion um there as one of my um buffs that I have on right now. Now, they're both, one's purple, I think one's red. Now, if you take a look at my power, my power and my defense, now I'm gonna go, once I'm taking damage, I start stacking Paranoia, and I get it all the way up. I'll even pop a Hellstone to, if I can take enough damage. Get, see, now I'm not taking any more stacks of Paranoia, so my Paranoia for my Twisted Weapon is fully stacked to 24. Now, if you look at my power, I lost all my bloodlust stacks and gained, look at all the defense you gained. So when you're taking damage, your weapon starts defending you. Now we'll go find a mob real quick and, and show you once I start getting stacks of bloodlust what it looks like. Go after someone easy here. So you can see the bloodlust and the paranoia showing up. Those are all from, and I just, I'm trying out slam. Somebody, um, I got a hate comment saying how much better it was in Crescendo, so I wanted to try it out. I'm not sold on it completely yet, but it does seem to be pretty good. Um, so I'm going to keep trying it, and on the next video I'll let you know what I think completely. Now if you check out my power, um, it's a lot higher. Now I've seen my power go as high as 32,000 with my rings full, um, uh, you know, and some buffs, and, and there you go, you're up there. Um, I probably sit at about 25,000. When I'm fully, you know, in a fight and everything's procced pro properly. Um, keep your crit as high as you can, obviously. Watch your armor pin. Um, make sure you stay at about 60%. Your recovery is good. Basically, anything you can get in the yellow, you want to get in the yellow. Once you turn a, one of these item um, numbers, where like your power, your crit, armor pin, once you turn one yellow, it's more efficient. So... Basically, you want to stack all your attacking things to yellow. Movement, you can't not have enough of it. I have an extra 4,000 right now in guild. That's the dust grade bonus. Um, is that extra 4,000. So I'm usually sitting at 2,440, um, which is a good movement. And then I have um, a insignia bonus that also improves my speed. So I'll show you that in a second. Um, if you look at my resistance ignored it's just under 60 percent i'm usually i was just at 60.1 i swapped something around it changed it a bit um i'm gonna have to go back and look at that but 57 point whatever is pretty good as long as you're right next to that's about as low as i would ever go as long as you're right next to um you know 60 you're sitting good i don't like to go over too much like i said it's basically wasted then you know run speed for great weapon fighters i used to have the lowest movement speed i had zero movement speed i didn't care i didn't want it you have sprint i thought that was good enough no the more movement you have 
the more DPS you put out because you're trying to out DPS people who can attack from across the room. You can't do that, so you know you need to be able to get there. Now, jumping into the insignias, this is how I get all my movement. I'm stacking my insignias with movement on them. You use the insignias of vigor, and that'll stack your movement. Um, I think I get like close to 1400 from my insignias alone. Now, Barbarian Revelry, I have two, stacks you to 1.8 heal on crit. Now, it's this art, uh, this artifact of persuasion, absolutely great, man. Um, Artificer's Persuasion, you get a huge bonus when you um, pop your artifact. Now, here's the Gladiator's Guile. When I have full stamina, I'm running at 15% increased movement, plus my 16.1% increased movement in the guild puts me above 30%. You then become, you know, I run next to a 50% mount at the same speed when I'm inside the guild, so it's very useful. Um, now, uh, use one Barbarian re uh, Revelry and stack one Barbarian Delight. I basically have another one stacked because I can put three movement insignias in there and get 0.3% more healing. Um, now... <laughs> Now, more, more than, like, okay, so see here, if I swap him out for my Shadow Wolf, uh, which you can actually get right now in the Pit Fight. If you run the Pit Fight, this is one of the drops you can get. You can get Vampire's Thirst on him. You can get Barbarian's Delight. And Barbarian Delight is basically a smaller Barbarian's Revelry. You get a 0.5% heal on crit instead of a 1.5%. Um, I, like I said, I recommend having one of each, unless, you know, in my situation I had two. It stacks my movement to 600, 700 actually with the two. Um, so it's useful. Now, you know, always be willing to look around and see what else you got. You know, see if something might change because there's been things that's changed in my build that has forced me to change my insignia bonuses and whatnot. So, you know, always be willing to check it out. I know they've added some since the game came out or since they actually released Insignia bonuses. They added some, so it's always good to keep up on it. You never know when they're going to throw new stuff in the game. Um, they seem to keep up on it pretty well. Always, uh, you know, there's always an update. There's always an event going on. They try to keep it relative and fun, and I think they do a really good job. Um, I think they nerf a few too many things because of PvP players. Um... But nonetheless, I think they try to keep it fair for everybody. Um, Vampire's Thirst would be something I, I used to run it when I had my... Until I got my 2,000 crit um, mount, which is the Artifact's Persuasion. It's my uh, Rage Drake right there. He gives me 2,000 uh, crit points. So until I did that, I actually um, had 2,000 lifesteal points. And that, throw these back on real quick to get out of here. Um, that um, lifesteal bonus there, um, the Vampire's Thirst, really helped out a lot. But now since I don't have very high lifesteal, it's kind of pointless to have. Um, like I said, the artifact, Artificer's Persuasion, awesome. Gladiator Guile, awesome. Barbarian Revelry, Barbarian Delight, must have for this build. They heal you every time you're getting criticals, which we're getting you know, all the time. Um, basically, this thing, building these characters like building the race car, you know, everybody's going to have a difference in opinion. There's always going to be new uh, products coming out that you can use to improve your speed, your durability. Um, these are just things you're going to have to keep up on. This video won't be relevant in a month. I mean, it, it's going to stay relevant unless they absolutely, you know, buff or nerf the crap out of it. They're going to stay relevant but the items themselves i'm going to keep improving my build i already have from the last video that dropped um i'd like to thank everybody you know who subscribed um out of the last video i think i got almost 10,000 views right now um 70 some subs i've gotten out of it so i really appreciate it um i'll keep putting out content if people keep needing it uh the hate comments you know just kind of let me know i'm doing good if, if i have enough people watching or people actually hate it enough to comment um and you know some some things they're leaving are correct uh like for instance you know the half orc is a really good um i was getting uh, hate mail because i'm using dragonborn now i love the dragonborn i think it's great now i do agree that you know the crit severity bonus you get for half orc is amazing me personally i couldn't stand the way they look i just hate it i don't know why i tried um 
And for me, that ruins the game. So I don't like that. Um, I used human. I really like the extra feet points you get. Um, but when it came down to it, I farmed Astral Diamonds and I got my Dragonborn set uh, because I wanted that power and critical bonus. And I love the way it looks, man. There, none of the none of them that I've used look look better to me personally. So, you know, you want to use one that strengthens your build. But whatever race you pick is going to be okay. Like I said, in the end, it's going to be how you built it. So, you know, just whatever brand car you, you buy, if you completely replace everything in the car, you know, it's not going to matter as much. There's still going to be that name on it. So you're still going to, you know, be a human or a dragonborn. But, you know, as long as you're building correctly, you should be able to be whoever you want. If you want to make a tiny little dwarf, you know, and I'm sure you can make a great great weapon fighter out of it it's just you know how you roll your stats how you fix your feats how you stack your companions um now i recommend with this build to go with your archons i'm sure there's better um companions i mean i'm not sure there's better but i'm sure there's companions that are equal um and or people like more so you know leave them in the comments below help people out uh, you know in, instead of people hating on my comments i would rather just people help each other you know, if someone asks a question and you and you see it, and I haven't answered it, or you have a better answer, you know, just go ahead and comment. You know, help people out. That's what we're all here to do. We're not here to be stuck up and hate people because they have a low item level. You know, the the better other people do, the better you're gonna do. People complain about people with low item levels in dungeons, but hey, why don't you help that person out, get their item level up? Then they're gonna smash on the dungeon with you, and they're probably gonna be grateful forever and give you, you know, stuff. You don't have to you know continuously hate that's what i can't stand what people do in this game they would rather put someone down for not having enough than giving them their extra and saying here you know now you have enough now let's go play together so all i ask is i'm sure i'm still gonna get get the horrible comments but you know if, if we just help each other out the game can be a lot better um and you won't get stuck in as many crappy dungeons with people because well maybe if some people had some more knowledge they would just be better at the game um Here's that crit bonus I was talking about uh, from the Rage Drake. It's super good. Like I said, you get such a good power bonus from most of your items that I try to get my crit you know, super high. Um, I do run the Vorpal. I've had people say, I think the Fey Touch was better. Um, I have, I also am a big fan of um, the Plague Fire. If you're a low level um, and you're looking for a weapon enchantment, I would say go for Plague Fire. They're great. Um, do great damage bonuses and they're about 40 to 60,000 depending on what day it is I think so you know you run dungeons and skirmishes for two days and there you go you got it um, it's showing this you know use alliance title in here uh, this is the thing about the game it's constantly changing so much that you just got to keep up on it and I'm guessing at some point since I'm the helm guild and I'm the leader of my guild that I'll get to pick a alliance title that people will get to use and you know that that's pretty cool you get to have your your name your alliance and then your guild so you can't really beat that I'm gonna jump over and run through the feats real fast and just kind of let you pause it if you need to like I said uh, on powers you're using daring shout you're using uh, blades uh, your throwing knives you're using daring shout blades and indomitable battle strike you're at wills you're using sure strike and you're stacking that on your artifact weapon um, getting the sure strike bonus and the weapon master bonus on your weapons um, so sure strike weapon master strike you're at wills your dailies are uh, weapon master or not your dailies I'm sorry your dailies are crescendo and I use spinning strikes now this other guy is saying slams better, so like you've seen the, the video there, I was, I've was i been checking it out and trying it. I, I, I don't hate it, so I'm going to keep trying it, you know, and for my area damage. I do use Crescendo for your my main strikes, but like I said, I'm going to le link my last video below. If you need the powers, if you need to look at the feats again, go ahead. All I can say is make sure you get your Sentinel Paragon feats. Make sure you get your, uh, your top feats in the red, and then make sure you get all the blue ones too. Just follow it perfectly and this is what every great weapon fighter in the game is using again i just want to thank everybody for watching the videos you know help each other out in the comments below help each other out in the game you know quit saying scrubs oh my god you guys that is the worst 
ape name that's ever been around. <laughs> Horrible. So, thanks for watching the video, guys. Ultimate is charging. Ugh! <sighs> 